All right, here we go. Yoga. Have a mat ready, blocks if you need it, maybe a strap, and let's go on and do this. So go ahead, bring yourself to a seat in Virasana. You can sit onto a block between the ankles, or you can sit back onto the heels. I lean forward to collect myself a little better and move my calf muscles out to the sides. When you get comfortable, just sit with the palms up, hand over hand, finger over fingers, connect the thumbs. Breathe in and out through the nose and feel your breath moving really three-dimensionally through your ribcage so that it expands on the inhale. As you breathe here, feel the toenails root down into the mat, into the earth. And feel your head rebound a little higher so you begin to sit taller and taller. You can let the arms release. Inhale, reach the arms up with the shoulders right up a little bit. And exhale, bring the arms back down to the ground. Again, inhale to reach the arms up. I move the palms face upward to collect energy, collect space. Turn the palms down, feel myself lift as I bring the arms down by the sides. Again, moving on the breath, inhale to reach up. Exhale to lower the arms. Letting the shoulders rise up can just help give you a little bit of extra space in the torso as you warm up the body here on the breath. You go ahead, release onto your hands and knees. Facing the top of the mat, inhale, you can either cat cow arch, exhale to round, or I like to kind of spiral head, moving one direction, circling the tail in the opposite. Connecting with all the fingerprints into the mat, even the thumb. And again, just moving for a little bit of mobility in the torso. Letting the neck move along, just gently. Begin to find neutral spine here, and then tuck the toes under and hover the knees off the mat a few inches. I rock forward and back just to feel my weight shift here, but you want to keep tight abs so belly pulls to spine as the knees just float and hover again right off the mat. You can go ahead and release the knees down to the mat, and then one more time, hover the knees off the mat and reach the left leg back at hip height. Feel your balance and your abs. Use the push down of the opposite hand, and you can go ahead and switch sides here. Taking your time, maybe attempt bird dog shape, so reaching a leg back, reaching the opposite arm forward. I keep facing inward my palm so that the arm stays rotated in its socket. And when you're through with that, move back to child's pose. Toes together, knees apart, bringing the hips back and down. Just let your exhale get you nice and heavy into the mat, the forehead touching the floor. Inhale to roll up, shift forward to modified plank. Let the elbows bend in and back. And then bring it right back to child's pose. Again, roll forward through all fours. Modified plank, elbows pull in, lower halfway. And press back child's pose. One more time here, letting the head be the last thing to reach forward as you find modified plank. Press back and up through child's pose. Rolling forwards, tuck the toes under, bring it to downward facing dog. Go ahead, pedal at the feet, reach one heel for the ground and then the other, paying attention to the fact that the hip points stay high. If you still the legs, just make sure and check in with your low back that there's no rounding. You can always keep a subtle bend to the knees. From your downward facing dog, stretch right leg up high to the sky, down dog split. You can give the left knee a little bend to try to get some extra length. Shift forward three-point plank, and then tip onto the outer edge of the left heel and come into a Vashisthasana side plank. If this is too much, of course, drop the bottom knee down to the ground support. Coming back through center, three-legged dog. Release the head. Bend the knee, open the hip, get a nice stretch, and then extend the leg along. Knee to the nose, shift forward, walk the foot up between the hands, right arm up into your twist. Feel the breath move up the back. You can open the chest a lot here to the side. And then release the arm down to frame the foot. Back knee drops down. Anjali Asana. Arms reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Release the arms down. Two more times. Sweeping the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Elbows bend. Drop the arms. Last one. Inhale to swim the arms up and back. And then exhale. Take the hands down. Lifting the back knee up, extend the front leg long so you begin to stretch into the hamstrings, into the side bodies. You can be up on blocks here, up on your fingerprints, releasing your head, neck so it feels nice and long. 
Inhale, keep breathing the heart forward. Exhale, just release into the stretch. And then give the front knee a bend. Forward step with the back foot. Roll the body upright, Utida Hastas. And now you can feel your weight shift forward into the balls of the feet as you rise up onto the balls of the feet. And with care and control, bring the heels back down. So just taking a few heel lifts and lowers here, keeping the weight again forward, rising up onto the balls of the feet, Elevator, ride your way down. So bend the knees and just bring hips down to the heels. Forward fold and jump back to downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Make sure you give a chance to bend at the knee and open up the hip here. I may forget that in the video. Release back to three-legged dog. And as you shift forward to three-point plank, make the choice with your bottom knee as you move to Vashisthasana side plank hold. Release back down, three-legged dog, and again, knee bends, knee towards the nose, walk the foot up between the hands, left arm reaches up into the twist, don't mind my back knee here, and then breathe into your twist, pretty light in the bottom right wrist if you can, and again, just feel the heart opening to the side. On the exhale, hand returns to the mat, back knee drops down, inhale to reach the arms up, Exhale to take chin to the chest, bending the elbows. Again, waving the arms on the inhale up. Exhale to release. Inhale to reach up. And exhale, bring hands back down. Back knee lifts. Again, finding long side body stretch, long back side of the front leg stretch. So you're getting hamstring and side body here. Take a few breaths. Inhales to reach the heart forward. <clears throat> and exhale, move a little deeper into the stretch. Excuse me. As the front knee starts to bend, bring the back foot up to meet front and roll the body up again to Utida Hastasana. You can reach the arms up if you want. Again, let the weight shift forward, lifting the heels. Control the lower of the heels down. You can take a few lift and lower here just to really find your weight forward, your abs tight, and your tail dropped. When you're ready, return feet to hip width apart, lifting the arms up, inhale, and exhale, release right arm down by the side, side bend, stretch, go up and over to the side, you can drop the gaze to the floor. Inhale to come up through center, and exhale to drop over to the left side, same stretch. As you come back center, release forward over the legs, swan dive, your choice, step or jump back, either move through a vinyasa or come right back to your downward facing dog. Inhaling deep through the nose and maybe exhaling twice through the mouth or just one time. Again, as you breathe in your downward facing dog, look for length in the spine, so free to bend the knees if you'd like. Looking forward between the hands, a soft bend in the knees, and then springs or jump or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale when you get there to reach forward with the heart. Exhale to fold. Inhale to reach the arms out and rise. Exhale, hands come down heart center. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale again to fold forward. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, hips high to the sky, downward facing dog. Again, a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Looking for a solid press down into the thumbs, into the pinky fingers, so you're using all of your fingers into the mat as you're here. Legs a little closer. Again, a bend in the knees and a spring or a walk to the top. Inhale to arch. Exhale, fold. And inhale, brings you up to stand. Exhale, hands heart center. Again, inhale, reach arms up. Exhale to swan dive. Inhale to arch and either move back downward dog or through vinyasa. Breathing, noticing the heels drop right back between the back sides of the feet. Again, bring yourself forward. Inhale when you get there. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands, heart center. Lifting the heels up again, testing the balance, and then lowering with control a few times here, little heel rises. Softening in the knees, left leg steps back, finding warrior two. Notice that you're not pulling forward or back, but you're really, truly centered right over the hips, the shoulders. 
lengthening in the side of the body, soften the front knee more so you can really melt down into the leg. And then inhale to lengthen the leg, lift the arms up. Exhale to come back to warrior two. Inhale to stretch and exhale to open. Last one, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bend. Tipping back, inhale, reverse warrior. And on the exhale, find right arm onto the thigh so you can really find length in the bottom side waist. Then maybe move more. Right hand to the floor, you've got partial kanasana side angle. Top arm can spin palm forward, reach it overhead. So you really lengthen from middle finger all the way down to the back outer edge of the foot. As you breathe here, let the head release, relax, so you can really find length behind the back of the neck, down the sides of the body. Arm returns to sky. Gaze towards the ground, push into the front heel to rise up. Turning your right foot in, slightly shortening the stance. Spin the left toes out. And then as you bring the left hand down towards the foot, shin or block, you've got your triangle pose, Trikonasana. I wrap my top arm behind me to get a half bind. I really feel the chest opening here. You can gaze down to the ground, side or up. A few breaths into the inner thigh, into the sides of the body here. Turning right arm to the sky, gazing to the ground. Soften the front knee and press into the heel to rise up. You can lengthen your stance again, facing the back of your mat now. Left knee tracks over mid-toes warrior two. Stay pause and breathe, get nice and heavy into the front leg, using also the push into the outer edge of the back foot for a really nice, strong base. Inhale to lengthen the front leg, reach arms up. Exhale to open the arms, warrior two. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And again, last one, inhale to stretch. Exhale to lower. Tip back, inhale, reverse warrior. Feel energy through the middle finger. And then exhale through side angle, hand to the thigh. Maybe bring hand onto the floor, keeping that length on the side of the body. And then you can breathe here in side angle, reaching the top arm forward and overhead. And see where the gaze feels best for you, either down, side, or up. And then from here, gaze down towards the floor. Press into the front left heel now to bring yourself back up. Spinning the right toes to face the front of the mat. Left toes spaced, or face in, rather. Chukhanasana to the opposite side. So right knee is mostly extended. There's a soft, subtle bend there just so you can feel the muscles and the quadriceps engage as you breathe here, Trikonasana. I again take the half bind to not only open the chest, but also feel the right sits bone kind of aim towards that back heel. To release out, soften the front knee and step back to the front of the mat. Arms reach up, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to arch and exhale, step or jump back. Inhale, cobra or up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, spring or walk forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, and again reach up, Uttita Hastasana. Exhale, hands heart center, Tadasana. Inhale to stretch, exhale to fold, inhale to prepare, and again, stopping or hopping back, maybe through Chaturanga, maybe Vinyasa, finding your way to downward facing dog. Last time to jump forward, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Arms lead the way out, chest reaches forward to come up. And this time, soft knees step back with the right leg, turning the toes inward, drop the palms behind the back, and inhale to lift the heart. Exhale as you connect the palms, start to fold forward. Wrists can pull up to the sky or maybe up overhead, noticing that the weight is forward into the balls of the feet. And even a little bit of pigeon toe is okay to protect the hamstrings. I release my arms here. Inhale to lengthen the heart forward. And then work left arm over to in between the feet. Right arm up to the sky. And it's a nice open twist here, making sure the weight is staying forward and out of the heels. Go ahead and switch sides. Right arm down, left arm reach up. Releasing both hands down, soft bend in the knees, elbows to the sky, hands, hips, reach the chest forward to come up, and then heel toe your feet in a little closer together. 
Moving into balance postures, right foot either to the inner thigh or inner calf. I bring my hands to heart center to start. You're welcome to stay. Or as you reach up, you can bend the left elbow, kind of a little tricep stretch. Feel pulled up through the abs and up through that left elbow. And then you might stay or you might lift up even more and start to side bend toward the bent knee. I like to take my gaze a little bit up higher to the top corner of the room so you kind of play with your balance. Come back through center, and as you release the leg with control, releasing the right arm, turning thumb down. You're grabbing for gomukas in the arms, either strap or maybe fingertips or shirt. Notice that you're pulled up, so here take the hips back. Knees track over feet as you find the mini squat. Push into the heels to rise. And then release the arms, turning palm to that palm down, so you kind of release the shoulders a bit. And then bring the hands down, shifting the weight onto your right foot. Left foot connects with thigh or inner calf. Find a nice push inward with that standing leg so you stay reasonably tall here. And then switching the arms, your right elbow bends alongside the ear. And you can take a nice tricep stretch. Maybe play with that pull up. And then a slight bend towards the bent knee. You kind of have to counter the bend with a little bit of a side bend kind of a crescent shape with the body. Again, I play with moving my gaze up the wall to the side right. And again, without any shrinkage, as you release the foot to the floor, hip width apart, go the feet, taking Gomukhasana arms other side. Feet hip width apart, and then back go the hips, knees bend, and I find a little mini squat. Pressing into the heels, maintaining the arms connected, and then releasing the arms Tadasana. Hands come into center, let the eyes close, and just breathe the breath in and out through the nose. Feeling your weight centered, feeling the tailbone dropped, and then releasing your arms, step back to the top of your mat. Inhale to reach arms up, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, prepare, and exhale, chaturanga, down dog, whatever feels better for you. Right leg reaches up to the sky, down dog split. Bring knee to the nose, and then again, reach the leg up and back. Again, knee to the nose. Last one, stretch leg up and back. Knee to the nose, walk the foot up between the hands, and rise up to your high lunge. Deep bend in the front knee, start to lift the chest to come up and back into a little back bend here. And then bring yourself back center. Hands through heart center, open out to warrior two. Tip back, inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle. And then reach the top arm overhead. Replace left arm down to the mat. You'll turn through either modified side plank or stack right over left foot side plank. Arm reaches overhead as the hips lift. And then stamp the arm back down to center plank of vinyasa, finding your way back to downward facing dog. Left leg reaching up to the sky. Knee to the nose, shift forward. Again, inhale, press back and up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale to press up and back. Exhale, walk the knee to the nose, the foot up between the hands. Again, high lunge. Inhale to reach up and back into your back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center. Open the body out, warrior two. Tip back, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale again, moving through side angle, reaching the arm overhead. Replace arm down to the ground. Spin to face the left side as you come into Vashistasana side plank. Again, lift the hips as the arm reaches overhead, rainbow, and then stamping the left arm down to the mat, vinyasa, and finding your way back, downward facing dog. Inhale to lengthen the back, and exhale, drop the knees to the mat at the same time. Cat cow a few times here, so again, you get a little more mobility into the spine, into the torso. And then shift forward, take it easy to go down to the ground slow. Hands join behind the back, Shalabhasana on the inhale. Hands lift off the hips, head reaches forward to start to lift up. And you may or may not lift the feet up too. Notice as the legs lift, pinky toes tend to reach towards the ground or you make them reach towards the ground so your feet stay internally rotated, your legs stay parallel. Release down to the ground, you can support your head onto the hands. Nice breath in and out here. And then one more time, connect to the palms behind the back, weird thumb on top. 
and inhale to lift anything that feels good up for Shalabhasana. Releasing down to the ground. Head against them can support onto the hands. Can shake out the hips if you need it. Moving from here into a counter pose, sphinx. So bring elbow under shoulder. Chin to the chest, start to peel up the ribs, the hips, the thighs, and you might look back at the knees or the knees float up. Now you should feel this in your arms and in your low belly, of course. If you feel your back, keep the knees on the ground and just keep belly pulling to spine, forearms pressing down into the earth. Stay here and breathe a few breaths. Releasing down when you feel ready. And then maybe even lifting up more towards your a bigger cobra. Here you're on your tips of your fingers. Maybe arms reached out to ten and two. And you feel pretty good there. Release back. Hips to heels. Child's pose. Return hands under the shoulders. Press yourself back up and you'll be at the back of your mat. You can find Utkatasana chair pose. Legs squeezing together to touch. Rise up. Hands heart center. Tadasana. Again, sit back to Utkatasana chair pose. Take twist to the right and you can hook the left arm to the outer edge of the right thigh. Now you might open the arms wide side to side or you might just stay. The hands pressed together. Notice that that left hip gestures back so the hips stay even. You can stay in your chair pose as you come through center, twisting to the left. Breathing here, let the hips sink down so the heart can release forward and up. And then release over the legs, give the knees a little bend, extend, walk them feet hip width apart. Peace sign on to the big toes and then feel the shoulders pull up the back as the elbows are bent side to side. So the head just hangs nicely in that framework of the arms. Subtle bend in the knees is totally fine here if you feel better. Take a few breaths and then walk it out again. Find downward facing dog. From down dog, look forward. Give the knees a bend. Go ahead, spring into crow pose if you can. Otherwise, take your time. You're finding chaturanga arms and you're bringing the knees onto kind of the back side of the triceps here. Sometimes it's fun to spring and just test and see where you wind up. Release back to Malasana. Feet to the floor, heels kiss. Let the arms reach forward. Let the hips pull back and just lengthen out the sides of the body. Bringing the arms back in, rolling out the wrists. Let the hips lift and roll up to stand. Facing side, I'm still cracking up at the crow pose jump I added in there. Open the legs wide to the side, bending the right knee, settle into Skandasana. You'll want your heel connected to the ground here, or to put a blanket underneath the heel is fine. I start by opening arms wide to the side, turn thumbs down, and then maybe go for the bind behind the body. Nice inner thigh stretch, nice chest opening here. Breathing, opening the chest, relax the neck, and then release the arms. Stay low to the ground as you switch the bend into the left knee now. Open the arms to the side, thumbs turn down if you want, and then maybe grab for the right wrist as you're here in your bind. Feeling the right leg stretch out of its socket so it lengthens really long on the mat. Releasing the legs, releasing the arms. You can shift forward into the balls of the feet, turn the toes in slightly, and then take a forward fold, arms moving towards this tripod shape, keeping the arms active. So as the head might come down to feel the floor, you want to push into the fingertips and feel the shoulders, again, plug in and up the back. So as you're pushing into the ground, your biceps are fired up, your arms are fired up. Return feet to the ground if they're up. Walk the fingers forward. Inhale, lengthen the heart. And then heel toe the feet in together. A little closer. Hands can come to the hips, elbows to the sky. Bring yourself up to stand tall. Moving into Utida Hasta Pada Gustasana. Stand tall on your left leg as you bend right knee towards the chest. With the right peace sign, you're grabbing your right big toe and opening the leg out to the side. It's okay if the knee doesn't extend completely. As you find tall from the left foot to the hip to the shoulder. Start to bring the right foot forward and you want it to stay on the right side of your body as you weave the left arm in to begin to take that twist. I bow and arrow my arm so I kind of bring my right hand to my shoulder and find the twist here. You may or may not again have this extended front right leg. It's okay if there's a little bend there. 
to come out, simply hug the knee to the chest, face forward, and release the foot down. Switching sides. Right leg stands tall. Feel firming in as you did in your tree pose. Left peace sign reaches for the left big toes, and you can start again taking the foot out to the side. Finding steady, then guiding the foot forward, weaving the right arm to grab the outer edge of the left foot as you spin your chest to the left and take that nice twist. Again, to come out, you hug knee to the chest, face front, and release the legs down. You can take a squat here, either a sumo squat or feet a little bit closer together. See what feels better for your body. I press my arms into my legs to open the chest and open the inner thighs some more. And then facing the front, bring both feet to face the front and have a seat onto your mat, catching yourself in your Navasana boat pose. You can feel the inner thigh squeezing together. Inhale, lengthen the legs, and exhale, tuck the tail, lean back. Exhale to come up center. Inhale to lengthen the legs. Again, give the knees a little bend. Tuck the tail, roll back, and use your exhale to come upright. One more time, inhale to lengthen. Bending the knees, tuck the tail, roll back, and your exhale brings you back up to sit. Feet return to the ground. Baddha Konasana, touching the inner soles of the feet together. Hands can grab the ankles, inhale to lift, and then on the exhale, leaning forward, you can bend elbows in towards the insides of the knees with a straight spine, or you can release and round forward over the legs. Rolling up, feet hip width apart, tuck the tail and roll down to your back. Feet will be hip width apart, heels pretty close to your seat so that your fingers almost touch them. Inhale to lift the hips, finding bridge pose, tight seal of the triceps with the hands down into the mat. And you can feel that the inner thighs are still spinning kind of inward and down, so the legs stay parallel here in your bridge pose. Releasing the arms, release the hips back down to the mat. Stay for a full breath in, full breath out. And you may or may not take bridge again. Maybe Urdhva Dhanurasana. Hands can be up by the ears, pressing up when you feel ready. And playing with the weight shift kind of back and forth. If you go all the way up, take a few steady breaths. And then when you're ready, release down to the ground with control. Rolling out the wrists, let the knees, windshield wiper side to side to release out the back. bringing both legs into the chest, finding happy baby. You can grab either the hamstrings or the inner edges of the feet. Don't mind me as I kind of switch my position on my mat here so I can open up my legs, take an inner thigh stretch, and reach the toes for the um, floor behind you. If you're staying in happy baby, the more you feel your tailbone press down into the mat, the more this is helping kind of traction and realign your spine. Releasing from here, knees to the left. Right knee will go right down towards the center of your mat, kind of bisecting it. And I flex my left foot, drop it over the outside of the right knee. So here you're stretching, opening up that whole front kind of right chain of the body. Releasing that side, knees to the right. Again, left knee kind of bisects the mat and cuts it in half, and then you can hook your right ankle over the left knee. A few breaths there to open up the front of the body. From there, you can release finding center, drawing the shoulder blades under the body, palms face up, and you may or may not extend the legs out as you rest here in your Shavasana. I think the eyes just close, kind of whitewash or see a color kind of fill the backside of your eyelids. So you can just relax, natural breath, heavy into the ground.
deepening the breath. Let the wrists circle the ankles circle. Reaching the arms overhead, get nice and long. Can we turn the feet to the floor, rolling onto the right side, and your head is the last thing to bring itself up as you find a comfortable seat, hands either thighs or heart center. Just give yourself a few nice deep breaths here so you're rooting down into the ground, relaxing the outer edges of your knees, relaxing the shoulders down the back. And the exhale, bow chin to the 